Good evening and welcome to News 9. I'm Nolan Pinto. We have some big news coming in now. 50-year-old arrested for misbehaving with a woman in Garuda Mall. In fact, this is the big news that we're now tracking. A 50-year-old has been arrested for misbehaving with a woman in Garuda Mall. The woman was accompanied by her husband and child. The accused is a former employee of a restaurant in Garuda Mall. The case has been registered in Ashoknagar police station. In fact, this is the big news that uh, your channel is now tracking. A 50-year-old has been arrested for misbehaving with a woman in Garuda Mall. The woman was accompanied by her husband and child. The accused is a former employee of a restaurant in Garuda Mall itself. As of now, a case has been registered at the Ashoknagar police station. In fact, uh, the Garuda Mall is, is a very famous, uh, old and popular mall in the city that is frequented by a lot of uh, people, men, women, youth, children. But uh, now comes this shocking news wherein a 50-year-old has been arrested for misbehaving with a woman in Garuda Mall. And what's surprising is that the woman was accompanied by her husband and child. Now, the accused is a former employee of a restaurant in Garuda Mall. As of now, a case has been registered with the Ashok Nagar traffic police station. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by my colleague uh, Akshita. Akshita, can you give us more information on this particular case and also on the accused? Well, uh, what we do know, Nolan, as of now, is that uh, this incident took place inside Garuda Mall. Uh, there was an event taking place on the ground floor. Uh, the woman, the victim in this particular case, was with her husband and child. Uh, we understand she was on the first floor uh, when the incident uh, took place. She was watching the event, and it is understood uh, that this particular man, who is 50, year, uh, 50 years old, uh, Vijay Kumar, uh, came up to her. We understand that he is an employee at a, a restaurant called Tango within uh, the Garuda Mall. Now, as soon as the woman uh, uh, realized she went on to uh, scream for help and that's when of course uh, people came out and she also went ahead and filed a complaint. The cops also uh, very swiftly went on to lodge a complaint and they have also gone ahead and uh, taken the ban into custody is what we understand, Nolan. Right, now does he still work over there or because the information we had earlier was that he was a former employer for a restaurant over there? Well, what we do understand is that he does work uh, at a, a restaurant in Garuda Mall. Uh, however, we could probably confirm that for you in a bit, Nolan. But uh, as of now, the information is that he does work as a, a server in uh, one of the restaurants here in Garuda Mall, Nolan. Now, Akshita, we also get, are getting information that her husband and child were also present. Were they near her when this incident took place or somewhere else? Well, it seems like uh, in all likelihood they were probably not with her when the incident took place, considering, of course, that her husband was uh, right there and so was her uh, child. It was a regular family outing for her uh, with her family, uh, considering, of course, that it is a Monday evening. The mall is not that crowded, which is why it is definitely uh, a tad surprising that such an incident has even come to light in Olin in the first place. Uh, but it seems that in all likelihood she probably was, in fact, away from her husband and child when the incident took place. The last we do know, of course, is that she was on the first floor watching that particular event that was taking place on the ground floor with her husband and child. So somewhere along the line, it seems like maybe uh, she got uh, estranged from them and that's when the incident took place, Nolan. Right, uh, Akshita, thank you very much uh, for all that. In fact, as of now, the accused has been arrested by the Ashok Nagar police station. Now, the shocking last moments of the victims who drowned in Dakshin Kannada's Murudeshwara has been captured on a mobile phone camera. Now, the footage shows people clinging on to dear life. Now, the five of them stepped into the waters to go for a swim. They started drowning. Now two men also swam into the waters in an attempt to save them but unfortunately they too drowned. And one of the victims is from Rajaji Nagar right here in this city.
fact, uh, this is the shocking last moments of the victims who drowned in Dakshin Kannada's Murudeshwara. And this has been captured on a mobile phone camera. The footage shows, you can clearly see there, people clinging on to dear life. The five of them stepped into the waters to go for a swim. They started to drown. Now, two men also swam into the waters in an attempt to save them. Unfortunately, they too drowned. One of the victims is from Rajaji Nagar, right here in the city. Well, from on this, I'm joined in by my colleague Vargis. Vargis, uh, were, were there no precautions or caution boards uh, placed over there before they stepped into the waters? Well, uh, Nolan, first of all, this was an accident uh, that happened because of the carelessness. But uh, what happened is that they, the first uh, two women actually went into the water and uh, they, uh, they thought they would swim, but that did not happen. And uh, they started drowning and two men, seeing the plight of them, uh, jumped into the uh, water. And uh, this is in the beach area and the undercurrent was quite uh, uh, huge over there and because of which even the men got drowned. Now, the bodies of the others were found... Uh, quite later. Uh, in fact, five bodies were fished out from this uh, entire tragedy. Uh, if you look, uh, they are in fact trying hard to uh, find uh, themselves a point of uh, place where they can latch on to, but that did not occur. Uh, there was waves were also quite high at that time, and uh, there was a lot of uh, problems for them to latch on to any of the stones that were there. It was quite slippery. Now, this entire incident was in fact uh, captured on a mobile camera by one of the tourists who was there at the spot. So these are the last minutes of uh, what happened to these uh, people and uh, quite a shocking uh, footage in fact that reveals the desperation in which they were trying to hold on to dear life uh, at that moment, uh, Nolan. Now is this the first such incident at this particular spot or have there been incidents in the past as well? Well, uh, Nolan, there have been uh, reports about uh, other such incidents, but they have not been life-threatening as of now. But this is one of those incidents where the tragedy has claimed the lives of five people. Uh, in fact, the bodies of the three residents from Bangalore, Bengaluru have been recovered and uh, they have been identified as that of Savitra and uh, Saumya, who, who are from uh, Kamakshi Palya. And uh, one of them, uh, his body has been uh, recovered, uh, Siddharamanna, who is from Rajaji Nagar in Bengaluru and uh, as a sh it's been a shocking case uh, at which the last moments of these people were uh, in fact filmed uh, but uh, this was uh, in fact uh, a very uh, uh, a very uh, uh, tragic event that occurred and uh, this uh, particular footage in fact shows the tragedy at its scale uh, it was a harmless uh, tourist visit that they had to this particular Mudeshwara beach but it turned into a tragedy in Olin. Now, Vargis, do we know why were they there at this particular beach? Well, uh, Nolan, what we know from it is they were on a tourist visit to the place, Nolan. Right, uh, Vargis, thank you very much uh, for all those uh, details. Now, ignoring repeated warnings from the police and rescue team, proved fatal for four tourists from uh, right here in the city. They drowned in the Arabian Sea in Murudeshwar on Saturday. Now, three of the victims hailed from Maruti Nagar, right here in the city. Now, tragedy struck them when they were hit by high tide. I told that uh, two others who went uh, to rescue them were also washed away themselves. In fact, one of the police uh, officer stationed over there was quoted as saying, most of the tourists do not pay heed to our advice we cannot physically prevent them from venturing into the rough seas." Unquote. Well, moving on, Nityananda is definitely controversy's favourite child and he is back with another controversy as part of his pravachan. Now this time around, he has dismissed all protests against him. Going a step further, he claimed that the protesters were all hired and said that the protesters don't have anything against him. In fact, uh, Nityananda is definitely controversy's favorite child and he's back with another controversy as part of his pravachan. This time around, he has dismissed all protests against him. Going a step further, he claimed that the protesters were all hired and said that the protesters don't have anything against him. Police came and informed me they are all 
saying that when we, you come out, they will protest, they are standing outside. I said, don't even bother. I know their salary. Three hours, 300 rupee. That is the one shift. And now it's almost two and a half hours over. Wait for half an hour, you will see nobody will be there. And they will have to go for their next protest. They would have booked, they book it like a calendar. They will have to go for their next protest. And it is only three hours. These guys booked and three hours is their usual shift. One shift, three hours, 300 rupee. You wait for next half an hour. Police came back and said, Swamiji, they are not there. I said, come on. <laughs> you know how to maintain law and order. I know who all disturbed the law and order. <laughs> they went away. Because they don't have any enmity or anything against me to protest. It is 300 rupee. They have been hired. And it is three hours over. They went away. And that fellow who organized is screaming, Hey, come, come, wait, wait, till Swami comes, we will extend your payment. They said, no, you should have extend, booked yesterday two shift. <laughs> we already booked the second shift now. <laughs> now it is too late, we cannot extend. We have to be, we have to maintain our professional ethics. <laughs> Now, the Ramnagra CJM court has also issued a non-bailable warrant to the controversial godman Nityananda. The warrant was issued after the godman did not appear before the court in the potency test. The godman had approached the Karnataka High Court seeking to quash the proceedings, but the apex court did not entertain the plea. In the interim, the lawyer appearing for the godman in the Ramnagra court said that the latter was busy with religious activities and hence couldn't be present. Uh, you just heard uh, what uh, controversy's favorite uh, child had to say over there that uh, the protesters are being paid about 300 rupees for a shift of three hours. And apart from that, the Ramnagara CJM court has now issued a non bailable warrant against the controversial godman Nityananda. The warrant was issued after the godman did not appear before the court in the potency test. The gunman had approached the Karnataka High Court seeking to quash the proceedings, but the Apex Court did not entertain the plea. In the interim, the lawyer appearing for the godman in the Ramnagara Court said that the latter was busy with religious activities and hence couldn't be present. Now, the state government plans to institute a judicial probe into allegations of land denotification. The move has not gone down too well with the opposition BJP, with MLAs belonging to the Safran party entering the well of the house. Now, the original plan by the BDA was to form the Arkavati layout and allot 22,000 sites with all proper amenities. However, the layout project started facing problems from the farmers. The government decided to denotify the land due to stiff opposition from the farmers. Now, the prime or the preliminary land acquisition notification for the layout was issued way back in September 2003 and covered 3,839 acres. Many landowners moved courts alleging violation of guidelines during acquisition. Following a court order, 1,089 acres was excluded from the layout plan. As a result, the final notification in 2003 covered 2,750 acres. However, the legal battles continued with many land losers, that is, alleging buyers and prompting the High Court to issue six guidelines. It said any land coming under any of the following categories could be considered for denotification. Land within the Green Belt area, land totally built up, properties with buildings built by charitable, educational and or religious institutions, nurseries, land on which factories had been built and land similar to adjoining land but not notified 